How did I get talked into this? I mumbled under my breath. I sat sideways on the seat inside the black armored limo, staring wide-eyed. The enormous ski mounts were covered with the hated white stuff. Viewing the Colorado mountains from high above in the private jet hadn't been atrocious, but now they were much more immense as we approached them on ground level, and a shit ton more painful. I would much rather be jumping over a ravine on a powerful bike than sliding down a peak at unstoppable speeds on slippery skis. Larrick placed his right arm on the back of the leather bench seat, tilting his head so he could gauge my reaction. I merely continued gawking at the mountains, my gaze trapped on the cause of the hurt that was to come. Because those shimmering peaks sure as hell didn't contain bunny slopes anywhere. He asked on a quiet hum, you're really that bad? My jaw clenched, but I nodded once. Sin has a tally of how many times I've fallen. They would all see. There was no point in fibbing about the issue. On the bench seat across from us, Sin chuckled softly. Let's just say it's in the high triple digits, bordering on four, and she's only skied six times. Fisting my hands, I sighed as my nails dug into my palms. Maybe I'll just sit by the fire and drink hot chocolate this time? No way, Arya griped from the back seat, sitting next to King Zeller. Her own eyes squinted in worry. If I'm getting out there, so are you. First time, I asked, jerking my attention away from the horrifying view and turning to sit properly on my seat. It pleased me that Larrick didn't remove his arm from behind me, his body's warmth creeping through the frigidness in my bones. Please tell me you're a newbie, or you suck just as bad as I do. Her chin lifted with haughty flair, a sure sign she was the prodigy vampire, about to be queen. But she still grumbled, I've skied twice in my life. Both times ended with me on my face or ass, more than I was on my feet. She groaned, shrugging an attractive shoulder. I think it's my speed or my sight. But either way, my balance is completely off. King Zeller ran a hand over his face, staring out the windows, his expression blank. I haven't skied either in a very long time. Absently. He patted Aria's left leg. Just be careful out there. I once lost someone on the slopes, and I'd hate to lose another. Aria gawked at his profile. Was that supposed to be encouraging? No. He thrummed his fingers on the armrest between them, not even glancing at her, his attention still outside. It was a warning.